HP MultiJet Fusion is a powder-based 3D printing process unlocking new efficiencies geared towards enabling production. Let's take a closer look at the printing process from start to finish. The process starts by evaluating each part and selecting the optimal print orientation. The parts are then placed in the build envelope. Special care is made to balance height and pack density while avoiding sudden changes in printed surface area. Parts are nested in 3D space within the print envelope, which is approximately 15 by 11 by 15 inches. Once the build is packed, it is sent to the printer. The build unit is inserted into the processing station to be filled with powder. The station automatically fills the build unit with the desired ratio of recycled and new material. Typically, the mixed ratio is 80% recycled and 20% new. The multi-jet fusion printing process uses the highest percentage of recycled material of any 3D printing process. Once filled, the build unit is inserted into the printer and the printing process is initiated. The parts are grown layer by layer, 80 microns at a time. There are four steps to the HP MultiJet Fusion printing process. First, powder is spread across the build area. Next, fusing and detailing agents are jetted onto the powder. These aren't binders, rather they respond to IR energy. The fusing agent absorbs IR energy and causes the powder to get hot, while the detailing agent evaporates causing the powder to cool. This causes a sharp temperature transition, which results in a fused part with distinct, precise edges. Multi-jet fusion parts are stronger than those printed with SLS and other technologies due to greater energy exposure. On each pass, energy is absorbed multiple layers deep, creating strength in every direction. Once the printing is complete, the build unit is removed and the cooling process begins. Builds can be naturally cooled or fast cooled in the processing station. A full build naturally cools in about 24 hours and then is ready for unpacking. First, the build unit is inserted into the processing station and the archeological dig begins. Unfused powder is vacuumed away and reclaimed for future builds. Parts are extracted and excess powder is removed. The final step is media blasting to strip the remaining unfused powder. Depending on part size and geometry, this can be automated or done by hand. The parts get a final blow off and are ready to be used for functional prototypes, tooling, or production applications.